Before you buy a new RAM, find out the current capacity and speed, find out which capacity and speed is supported max by the CPU, and find out which maximum capacity and speed are supported by the motherboard. All of these could be different. To get the current capacity and speed, just right-click the Start button and press Task Manager. In the Task Manager, switch to Performance and then switch to Memory. At the top right, you can see 32 GB writing this down. And at the bottom right you can see speed and you can verify by hovering over slots used 4 out of 4. And you can see they all have 2133 in my case, writing that down. Now to find out which values are supported by the CPU, we need to find out the designation of the CPU. We can do that in the task manager. Just press CPU and at the top right you can see Intel Core i7 10 700k and that's all. CPU, at and the gigahertz number are not relevant for the search. You can usually also skip the first two names. The part that is combined with numbers is the most important. You can also find this information by clicking the start menu button and typing in about your PC, pressing enter, and then here you can see processor Intel Core i7 10 700k and that's the relevant part. If you have an AMD CPU, it will look something like that. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2950X. And this is where the interesting part ends. 16 core processor, 3.49 gigahertz. You don't need to write that anymore. Just write this code, 2950X. Threadripper is useful as well. So let's just write this down, 10700K. Intel can be helpful. And just for a test uh, research, thread Ripper 1950X. Let's research for both of these. To do this research, simply type in or copy the name of a CPU into your favorite search engine. In the case of Intel, you want to reach an arc.intel site, not intel.com. This is more of a marketing website. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is a bad list, kind of. What you want is the arc database, which is more of a specs list. Yes, much better. And here we Look for memory. Memory, specifications, max memory is 128 gigabytes and max speed is DDR4 2933. All right, so we got these specs down. Now let's do the same for Threadripper. Let's just copy Threadripper 2950X and we're just going to type it in our favorite search engine. Okay, we get to an AMD site, which is what we want. Let's see how good this list is much less useful site. Let's jump to specifications. Here we go. If we scroll down, we can see system memory and it says, okay, this site has a problem because it doesn't even show maximum RAM, but I guess this is the limit, which is the same, 2933. DDR4, 2933 it is. So we're gonna have to leave that at unknown slash and just depend on the motherboard. Right, now we need to research the same stuff for the motherboard that you have, unless you're upgrading, then research the one you want to upgrade to. But if you want to keep the same motherboard, you're gonna want to press start and type in system information. And then just open that app. And here it can get a bit messy. I saw a guide which said you will find the info here in system model, but that's not the case. In this case, I can see below BIOS mode, Baseboard manufacturer AS Rock and then baseboard product B460 Phantom Gaming 4. That is the motherboard that I have. So that is what I'm going to write down AS Rock B460 Phantom Gaming 4. Time to play the same game again. Copy paste the name of that motherboard into your favorite search engine. Hopefully, the first result will lead to the manufacturer's website. If not, just check that the part before the dot, before the first slash, matches the name of a manufacturer. So this looks good. AS Rock Phantom Gaming 4. And when it comes to manufacturers of motherboards, you usually have to press specs or specifications. Here it is. Let's click that. Here we are. Let's scroll down memory. Okay. DDR4. Yeah, we know that. And here is the list of which speeds it supports. Okay. So we're writing down DDR42933. Well, we can also go lower, because why not? And max size, 128 gigabytes. Of course, you need to have 64-bit windows. 
So now we know that we could upgrade to a max of 128GB. For Threadripper I'm sure the limit is the same. Of course Threadripper does not work on the ASRock B460 Phantom Gaming 4. You would have to research for a different motherboard. And we know that the max speed supported is 2933MHz, but we can go lower. And of course once you buy the RAM and insert it you should again go to the task manager, check the memory section and check if the speed actually works and if all the slots work as intended. And if not, then you will have to refer to the manual of the motherboard. You will find that in support usually, and then download, or no, in this case manual, and uh, English, I think, unless you want Japanese or other languages. But no, you don't want quick installation guide, you want user manual. So just uh, click download from either of these and then you will find instructions on how to configure RAM. I'm making this video because of a question I was asked. I'm going to change my RAM to something with higher speed and lower latency. Can I just insert new RAM and PC will do everything else itself or do I need to change settings like disabling XMP for it to work? Regarding latency, I cannot teach you anything about that, I'm very sorry. I can just tell you the basics about speed determination. XMP, as far as I understand, is an unlocking of higher speeds. The Wikipedia article to it is very complicated, but there are some simple articles to be found online. I hope this helped and I hope you have fun inserting your new RAM.